Well, people love to cook and learn new recipes, and last night on the Next Food Network star, the competitors took on a Hampton Roads favorite, Seafood. Joining us this morning, the winner from the latest challenge, Jeffrey Saad, and one of the judges, Red Lobster senior executive chef, Michael LeDuc. Thanks for joining us. Uh, I would say, if you're the senior executive chef at Red Lobster, you know a little something about seafood. So what was it about Jeff's yeah. creation that put him ahead of everybody else? You know, we asked the we asked the contestants to uh, use the same wood fire grills that we use in all of our restaurants and come up with a dish out there, sort of on the fly, that did the same thing we try and do every day and try and bring some great uh, flavors. And Jeffrey combined sweet, salty, savory, sort of that Asian technique, and did a, a really great job for us. So, what did you make, Jeff? Tell us a little bit more about what was in it. What was in your recipe? You bet. It's a it's a wood grilled fresh fish with uh, wasabi seared scallops mm -hmm. and shrimp and a spicy soy broth. And uh, it's, the idea is like to really bring the flavor of the wood out. So all the spices and flavorings that I put into the broth acted to complement that wood grilled flavor. That was the idea. Now what if somebody at home is saying, man, that sounds great, but I don't have a wood grill in my house. Is there any, any tips that you could offer? And I know, Michael, you would, your tip would be just come to Red Lobster. I'll save yeah. you the trouble. <laughs> you I'll save you it. the trouble. <laughs> but if people did want to try to at least put some of the ingredients together at home, any tips for them, Jeff? Well, you know, they've made it pretty easy now to get, like, wood chips and do your own grilling. If you can't do any of that, definitely there are some liquid smokes out there that, that are good. So, you know, and the great thing about these broths is they deliver, carry a lot of flavor, so you can do that. But I think Red Lobster is easier. So you can, <laughs> you also, put, you also, it, you can put wood chips I'm in sorry. your charcoal grill? Or if you've got... Yeah, yeah, they make them. You, yeah, if you've got a gas grill, you can just put them in an aluminum pan, you know, right on top of the flames below. If you've got charcoal, you can spread them right across there and play around with it and you can get some pretty good smoke flavor but it's never going to be the same i mean when you got 600 degrees and these yeah. things stoked with wood that's really the beauty of it i suddenly feel like i'm if the last to person the, uh, to hear about the wood chips <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah if, you go to, if you go to our website at redlobster.com there's actually a whole wood grilling section on how to do some of this stuff at home oh great the different woods that are available the smoke chips that are available yeah it's under our oh, chef perfect. video section now jeff i understand you're the last man standing in the kitchen yes yes as a as a as a judge from here on out, Michael, what are you going to be looking for? Um, you know, I think I think what everyone's looking for is just who's going to bring the, the big personality forward, who's going to be someone that you'd, uh, basically, who would you want to turn the TV on and watch every week? What yeah. is it about the, you know, one of the contestants that just makes you want to tune yeah. in and just watch them cook? See, that's the difference, Jeff. I'm lucky on this show. I just have to have a big personality. I don't have to be able to cook at all. you got to have both. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks very much. It's been fun to talk to you both, and good luck again. Maybe you've just met the next Food Network star. Maybe not. Folks will have to keep watching. Maybe. <laughs> All right, still ahead.